Okay, uh, the correction to the last video, I just wanted to put this out there to everybody um, about the CMOS <clears throat> battery. Uh, it actually saves the uh, configuration for uh, the BIOS, is what I was trying to say. Um, I, I was on the right path thinking of post, but uh, it's actually the BIOS. Everything is stored in there pretty much uh, when it comes to the CMOS. Okay, all right, let's move a little bit forward here and talk about the remaining of the remainder of the chapter here. Um, now, of course, we have the expansion card slots that were talked about there earlier. Um, this is an example of the expansion card. Um, there is a what they call PCI slots. The one that it's in right now looks like more of an AGP, if, if I didn't mention it earlier. I thought I'd just recap. Um, and also, the power supply looks like this. They do vary in sizes. And, of course, there are many different kind uh, connectors on there. They're not all like this particular one here. Um, again, we have our uh, we have our PETA power on there, and this is SATA power. Uh, that these connect directly to the hard drives. This uh, particular one right there connects to the uh, fan on a motherboard, and these connect to a floppy drive. Okay, moving forward. Um, all right, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the floppy drive. Um, this is an example of it. Um, obviously, it looks different when it's in the actual housing, but this is just uh, it taking out of its taken out of its environment. Um, but this uh, it does connect to. Uh, there is some there is a port here, a connector here that it goes to. Again, these are considered data cables too. Uh, they look a little bit different uh, going in the floppy because they're smaller. But again, this product is becoming more and more obsolete. It's not used very much. Okay. All right, and we already talked about hard drives earlier. Um, again, there are several different kinds, but the kinds that are mostly in personal computers are PETA and SATA. Uh, you will find some called solid state drives, um, which are very, very effective. It's just that they're very, very expensive, and they do go bad faster. So for whatever reason it's more expensive, I don't really know. Um, there's different forms, too, of hard drives. There's also what they call external which means it is not attached to the machine or inside the machine itself. And then there's internal when it's in inside the machine itself. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, a lot of people do also have what they call um, removable drives, where you can actually take the whole hard drive out. And that's actually a very good security precaution. So if you ever think of doing that or using uh, that type of uh, hardware, that's probably a, a very, very safe way to go if you're running a business especially like in accounting. So that's that's the practical value of uh, saving your storage. Another um, thing I want to talk to you about when it comes to uh, hard drives, you will hear this too, and, it, and it's in connection with backups. Um, there are different types of drives um, uh, that we'll talk about later on in the, tra in the uh, tutorials that we'll be having here. And uh, uh, hard drives basically is the, uh, 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 the information that they're going to be taking off of these taking off the computer, well not taking off, but actually copying it to um, a, a backup drive, okay? And it could be uh, many different types. I don't want to just give it away. If you already know, that's great, but I just want to make sure that I don't congest uh, any, any one person with uh, too much information. Okay, and here's another example of the SATA and PETA. This would be considered a PETA drive, and this was is a SATA drive. Uh, the way I know is by the cable sizes. Now notice that also you can power a SATA drive the same way you power a PETA drive. You can if you want, but um, for the purposes of the purposes of uh, uh, the new technology, um, it is easier to use the newer SATA drive. It's a lot smaller, easy to put in. These are very difficult to get in. Sometimes you do need to use a penny or some type of device to remove the uh, the actual PETA cord, PETA um, power cord. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Okay, we've already talked about optical media drives there. Uh, they sometimes use PETA or SATA, as I mentioned here, too. So you may see that optical media drive. This is an example of one right here, okay? And that's the hard drive on top. And notice that the cable is connected to two. This data cable here for the PETA drive actually goes into both. And uh, the computer is pretty smart. It does decipher which one takes uh, precedent. Um, if it's usually with this, it's a jumper that separates the two that allows it to be the primary drive. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that, just uh, keep that in mind. Um, all right, and we've already talked about what kind of things the, uh, or what kind of uh, uh, drive, excuse me, medium that can be burned on a, uh, 
uh, or from optical media drive. And the mediums can be CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays. Now notice that it says here, right, CVD, DVD, Blu-ray, disc. So um, CDs, we'll talk about. The CDs store about 700 megabytes um, at the most. There are CDRW, CDR, um, there's a couple of them, okay? And then there's DVD, DVDR. DVDs usually can store anywhere from uh, four to five or six gigs, depending. And they also can be dual-sided, so you can get a, D a DVD up to eight gigs. So keep that in mind. And notice all the different formats here for DVD. DVD is very pro popular here. Look at that. See that? All these. And notice the plus and the minus. That's going away more and more because most drives are coming equipped with both. It's interchangeable. So keep that in mind. But Blu-ray disc is new on the scene, and it is here to stay. It actually came out very early and wasn't accepted because a lot of people didn't have Blu-ray players. They were so expensive. Uh, but now they're coming down in cost. Um, I purchased one for $2.99 as a home theater system, and the whole thing entailed. And it works fantastic. Very beautiful picture. But again, they're, o they're not only used for high-definition de movies. Um, they are popular, obviously, um, now also for storing uh, that data here. This is with capacity starting at 25 gigabits. That is a serious breakthrough in technology. And here's just a couple examples of what they look like. This looks like a Blu-ray disc. Uh, let's go ahead and um, look at the bottom here about the optical drives once again. This is what they look like and uh, this should end the tutorial here. And we're just going to talk a little bit about the answering scheme here. Um, there's some questions here and we're just going to quickly go through them. For the first question right here it says, what do you call the commands that tell the computer what to do? This is the letter C. It's programming. Okay. And then it says, the question for two is, which of the following is a proper name for a stick of RAM? That, remember we talked about SIMS, so we know it's going to be DIM. Okay. All right. And then we have three. Where do you connect an anti-static wrist strap? Now, they have some answers in here. Um, they have uh, to an anti-static plate on the computer, to an electrical outlet, to a handyman part of the case, to a non-static wrist strap. The answer would be C. What sort of connectors does a typical network card have? Now, we were talking about network cords, uh, network cards, okay? Um, meaning this is the device that is used to uh, transfer data from one computer or one network to another. Um, remember, we talked about uh, telephones uh, cords are the same. Very similar. They're smaller, obviously, and they're considered RJ11. Okay, mini DIN obviously is not not the one we're looking for. That's what they use for the uh, uh, for like keyboards and mice uh, connectors um, or PS2 and DB9 is not it either. So it's got to be RJ45. Okay, so let's move on to number five here. Number five. <clears throat> Modern keyboards connect to which of the following ports? All right, they don't use DIN anymore. That's older style. Firewire is mainly used for like video um, or you know course cameras and whatnot. Um, USB can be one and the other one can be mini DIN. Okay, so this this would be the correct answer is C and D. Okay. So which end for number six? We're here on six. Which end of the USB cable plugs into the PC? Now remember those uh, remember that section is just a little flat. We're gonna go right back just to take a quick look at it. Um, okay, right here. Remember those little flat in here? Uh, look at that right there. This is it right here. Okay, now they have to be very flat. So if you remember correctly, the type of connector that was used at the, on the bottom, there's two different types they talked about for USB. Uh, it's USB A and USB B. Okay, so what do you think the answer is? You think the answer is going to be mini A or mini B? Nope, it's going to be A and B. And that will be the correct, or excuse me, A is just the correct answer. B is not, I apologize. B is for the printer. Uh, like a, well, the back of a printer, it looks like that. No, that part of the USB looks like that. So anyway, let's move on to, par to uh, question seven. A printer usually plugs into which of the following ports? Okay, and it's just like all that apply. And we were just talking about that. Remember that. And it's going to be, the answer is going to be DB25, right? And it's going to be USB. So your answer is going to be B and D. Okay. All right, and number eight, what do you plug into a three-row 15-pin port? Now, this one is tricky. 
Um, remember, the joystick uses the MIDI, and that's actually only two rows. Keyboard, uh, it's really not considered rows. It's kind of kind of different. Um, monitor, now this one does have three rows, and it does have 15-pin port. So we know it couldn't be D, B, or A. It's ha it has to be C. Your answer is C. So number nine, what connector was designed to connect your PC to a high-end television set? Now, this is new technology. So this book is pretty updated, just to let you know. Okay, that is what connector was designed to connect your PC to a high-end television set. And we have a couple, VGA, v Visa, HDMI, DVHD. Well, there's no such thing as DVHD as far as I'm concerned. I've never heard of that. So it's got to be HDMI. Okay, now 10. And what connector was designed to connect your PC to a high-end audio system? Now, we did talk about the companies that collaborate on this, Sony and Philips. So it's got to be this, SPDIF. All right. So that is your answer for number 10, D. All right, folks, that ends this video. Um, and the actual chapter is complete. We'll be moving on to, next, uh, to another chapter next week. And we appreciate you watching our, um, our tutorials. If you have questions, please post to our blog at www.superiornetworks.biz slash blog. Okay, thank you very much. This is a collaboration of Over the Wire and Superior Networks. And we thank you again. Have a great day.